How to avoid an account recovery scam. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. The number one topic on Ask Leo is what to do if you can't log into a service that you're relying on. There are several reasons you might end up in that position, but they're all made much worse by the desperation that can often result if the account recovery mechanisms don't work. The problem? There are many, many scammers out there ready to take advantage of your panic. Okay, first let's talk about why account recovery might not work. You can't log in for whatever reason. No matter what you do, it doesn't work. There are several reasons that might happen. You didn't follow the account recovery process carefully and completely. The second, you didn't have account recovery information, like alternate email addresses or alternative phone numbers, configured for the account at all. And finally, someone, perhaps, has so thoroughly hacked your account that they have changed all of the information in the account that might have been used for account recovery. Now, you're worried? You're frustrated? Maybe you're panicking a little bit. What next? Well, you might turn to the internet and search for help. Search cautiously. There are good sources of help out there, sites and individuals, including me, who might cover something that you overlooked or weren't aware of or may just help you understand the ultimately bad news that you're out of luck. However, there are scammers. So many scammers. You need to be really, really careful when you search for help. The search results will contain items that look legitimate. They will look like legitimate ways to contact the company for help, but instead they will connect you with the scammers. They will create ads in search results to entice you into calling them instead of the right people. They'll pretend to be that company and pretend to help you. Usually though, at some financial cost or by requiring that you hand over account or other personal information. The most important thing to remember here is that most free services do not have phone numbers you can call. Go to the website of the company in question and carefully navigate their site and only their site for the support options that they do provide. Scammers are continually inserting comments on discussion forums, on articles, on videos, and more with promises of help. Now, there are a couple of red flags that help identify these scam slash spam comments. Number one, lavish, really over-the-top thanks to some recovery service for having helped them. It's a fake testimonial. The other is an indirect reference, a company or a username that it's not a link. It's just something that you are then supposed to look up on another service. They'll typically say, you know, so-and-so helped me, look him up on Insta. These are all fake. They will not help you recover your account. They do not have access to any more tools or techniques than you do. At best, they'll take your money and disappear. At worst, they'll convince you to supply information about other online accounts or credit card credentials, leading to significantly more damage. So what do we do? When it comes to account recovery, this is what is in your control. There are two things you need to do so you don't lose access to your accounts in the first place. One, add two-factor authentication. And two, keep your recovery information up to date. Together, those two should help secure your account and allow you to get back into it should you ever need to. But above all, don't expect or rely on customer support for free accounts. And don't trust the comments and thinly veiled ads that the scammers run. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Thanks for watching.